In this video, I will demonstrate several features related to nesting in version 7. I'll start with grid nesting. This standard feature is useful for quickly laying out multiple copies of a part for production. First, I'll draw a simple 2-inch square using the rectangle tool and click the green check mark to accept it. I'll push the part into the CAM module. Then I'll open the project settings and enter my material type and size. I'll click the green check mark to confirm. After that, I'll click the grid nesting button, enter the number of parts to produce, and hit start nesting. Version 7 will automatically drop any parts that wouldn't fit on the workpiece, but I can change the spacing to get more parts out of the sheet. I'll hit the green check mark to confirm the nest. Additionally, I have full control over the position and rotation of each piece after nesting. This is helpful for customizing scrap area. Next, I'll demonstrate true shape nesting. This feature improves upon grid nesting by minimizing your scrap material, especially for more complex parts. I've already drawn the parts that I want to use, so first I'll open that CAD CAM file. You can see I have two parts, an L bracket and a T bracket. I'll push these parts into the CAM module. Then I'll open true shape nesting this tool will find the optimal layout of my parts to reduce scrap material. These parameters are straightforward and affect how closely my parts fit together. By decreasing the rotation step, more orientations are tried. However, this increases computing time. The advanced parameter sliders both allow me to prioritize computation speed or nest accuracy. With true shape nesting, you can specify quantities or ratios individually for each part. I'll set a ratio of two T brackets for each L. Now, I'll check the Fill Sheet box, and then click Start Nesting. Then I hit the green check mark to accept the nest. Now, I'll generate specific quantities of each part. First, I'll reset the toolpaths back to default. Then, I'll reopen True Shape Nesting and enter the quantities to produce for each part. I'll uncheck Fill Sheet and click Automatically Add Workpieces, then hit Start Nesting. Now, I'll confirm with the green check mark. You can see that the True Shape Nesting tool has generated the required number of pieces and separated them into two sheets. I can control what G code is generated simply by changing active sheets before pushing the toolpaths into CNC. Both grid and True Shape Nesting are great tools to get you producing parts quickly. Thank you for watching. Please contact us if you have any further questions or visit us online at flashcutcnc.com.